teacher Bea here. I'm going to lead you into a hip pilates class today and it's going to be slightly different from what we do in the studio. Um, we're going to go for three different sets. Uh, each of the sets are going to be from this much and then we're lessening all of the exercises for each set. Okay, it's still going to be intense. It's not going to be as much work as we do normally, but it's right uh, just right for you to do at home. Okay, um, also uh, we're giving you a link to a Spotify playlist, so check the caption of this video. Make sure you go to that link before you start the workout. You'll have to play it on the side just so we don't um, violate any copyright rules on YouTube, okay? So we have that on Rebel Yoga Radio on Spotify. Subscribe to it, follow us. And we'll keep adding more songs that we do in class. Hopefully, you can also enjoy those at home. All right, let's start to come onto your mats. Just find yourself grounding down, getting your feet as wide as the mat, arms resting to your sides. You can gently close your eyes for now. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the nose, belly sinking in. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale. Exhale through the nose. And inhale through the nose. This time, exhale side out. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. One last time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. Set an intention if you'd like, or set a goal for yourself. Maybe doing something, giving yourself something after this workout. And we gently open the eyes, start to bend your knees. Have your feet as uh, wide as your hips, maybe just one fist distance from both knees or your thighs, and then have your heels under the knees, toes pointing forward. Press your palms down, shoulder blades are grounded down as well. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, top curl and lift the hips all the way up, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your belly as you go. Thighs are drawing in towards each other. Another inhale up here, and exhale very gently, lower down, vertebra by vertebra. Hips come down last. Inhale here at the bottom. Exhale, top curl and lift the hips all the way up, slowly with control. Another inhale, and exhale, lower down. Hips come down last, inhale down here, and exhale, tuck, curl, and lift all the way up. One more breath in, and exhale, lower down, hips come last. Form a triangle with your thumbs and index fingers, bring your thumbs over your belly button. Imagine there's a marble at the center of this triangle. On your inhale, you're going to arch your back, bring the marble to your index fingers, as you exhale, round the back, marble to your thumbs. Inhale, marble to index. And exhale, marble to your thumbs. Inhale, marble to your index. And exhale, marble back to your thumbs. Bring the marble back to the center of your triangle. Palms come down once again. This time, you're going to take another breath in. And as you exhale, top curl and lift the hips as high as you can. This time, your shoulder blades have to press down. So in Pilates, you want to lift your hips as high as possible, but shoulder blades must stay down. Take another breath in, and exhale, lower down, getting your hips hovering just one inch or even a quarter inch away from the mat, hips not touching the mat anymore. And then we go up for two. And then we go down for two. If you have your playlist, you can start pressing the play button now, up for two, and down for two. We go up for two, and down for two, and go up, and down, up, and down, up, and down, and up, and down, up, and down, and up, and down, up, and down, and up, and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Squeeze your glutes, up, down, up, stay here, and heels, down, up, and down, up, 
you're steady. Just the heels are moving. Up and down, up and down, up and down, and up. Hold here. Pulse, 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 pulse. Let's go. Pulse, pulse. Just one inch movement. Squeeze your glutes to get yourself to pulse. Doesn't have to be a big move. Pulse, pulse. Shoulder blades pressing down. Just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Pulse, 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 pulse. Keep going. Pulse, 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 pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, hug your knees in. This time, bring your feet as wide as your mat. Toes point out, knees point out. Go and up and down, up and down. Outer glutes are squeezing. Up and down, up and down. Keep going. Up, down, up, down. Belly in. Up, down, up and down. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up. Hold here. Heels up, down. Just the heels. Up. Down, hips are steady. Down, up, down, up, and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Get ready for this. Up, hold here, knees in, out, in, out, in, out. Hips are high, heels are high, in, out, in, out, in. Out, in, and out, lower down, hug your knees to your chest, big toes together, heels apart, knees together, palms down, here we go, up, down, up, down, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your knees together, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, hold here, heels up, down, 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 up, and stay up here and pulse, pulse. The next song will be starting now. Pulse, 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 pulse. Squeeze your glutes again. Just one inch movements here. Doesn't have to be big. Pulse, 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 pulse. Watch this now. Right foot up. Knees are together. Pulse. Hips are steady. Pulse, 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 pulse. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Switch legs. Pulse, pulse. Knees together. Point your left toes. Pulse, 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 pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Hug your knees to your chest. Okay, legs and core should be awake by now. Whoop. <sighs> Coming to your first set, everybody. It's your super set for today. I'm going to have a timer set here in front of you. So you can see it's going to be 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest in between. So it's quite longer, but it's definitely going to work your heart. Definitely going to keep you burning calories even after the class. So we're gonna go for a lot of movement for the first set. We're gonna start with your um, jackknife. So for jackknife, you're going to bring your right arm out and then lying down onto the right side of your glutes. You are going to lift your leg and your arm up. Show upper body lifts up as well. Squeeze the belly in, options. Have your left leg lifting up. If it's too much, you can bend your knee. If you want more, lift both legs up. Okay, we're going to do the right side, and then we do the left side. So, get ready. So, we're going to start in four, three, two, one. 
two, and one. Let's go. Your choice. You can get yourself both legs up. You can also get just one leg up. It's really up to you. Now, don't have to go so fast. Squeeze the belly in. Press down onto your right hand. Lift up and have your toes pointing so that the legs are active. Good. Doesn't have to be a lot. We're after quality, not quantity. Same as ever. Keep going. Give me one more. And change. If you want more, hold up here. Otherwise, if you're taking your break, start moving yourself to the right side of your mat. Left arm comes down. Start to turn to the left side of your body. Same options. Just the left side. Let's go. Lift up. Find your rhythm here first. Don't go crazy right away. Allow the right side of your body to wake up. And then maybe go higher. Don't go too fast. Make sure you're breathing. Good. Keep squeezing the belly in. You can side out through the mouth. You can do your Pilates breath. You can exhale through the nose. As long as you're inhaling through the nose, change. Coming to your seal kicks. You're going to lift your upper body away from the mat and then point your toes, lift one leg up, lift the other leg up, heels not touching the mat. And here we go. Try to pull slightly with your fingertips. Don't hold on too long onto the leg. Good. Keep your chin away from the chest. Belly squeezing in. Keep your neck soft. Keep your faces soft. Don't let your face help you lift your body up. Keep going. Work on straightening the legs. Slight beat net bend on the knee is okay. But try to work on energizing the legs. Toes pointing up. Change. If you want more, hold one leg up. Always breathing, always breathing, never hold your breath. One more round. Getting ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Heels not touching the mat, but you don't want the heels to just lift too high. You want it to go as low as possible, maybe an inch away from the mat. Good. Keep looking up, keep looking up. Squeeze the belly in. Maybe lifting your shoulder blades higher because you can feel it if it's not sticking to the mat. Let's go, let's go. Give me about two more. And change. Whew. And roll up. Coming to your forearm plank. Let's go. You want to get yourself shoulders over elbows. Shoulders are, or elbows are shoulder width apart rather. And extend your legs back. Good. Interlace your fingers or form number 11 with your hands. Your toes pressing down. Even the pinky toe is down. Sink the belly in as much as you can. Lower back is flat. Legs are active, especially the fronts of your thighs. Look slightly forward. Don't just bow your head down. Even the back of your neck has to be aligned with the rest of your spine. Stay here just a few more. And change. You can hold for 15 seconds if you want to. Next round, forearm plank again, but if you want more, bring the shoulders behind the elbows and then roll forward, roll back, getting your shoulders above the elbows. Woo! And let's go. If this is too much for you, stay still. Work on gaining the strength in your forearm plank. Otherwise, maintain your form as you roll forward and back, rolling on your toes and the balls of your feet. Don't lift your hips up like so. Keep it down. Belly still sinking in. Don't come into a form of an up dog. Let's go, let's go. Just a few more here. And change. Good. Coming now to your high plank. Getting into your plank tracks, everybody. So, you can have your hands under the shoulders, spread the fingers really wide apart. Start by coming to your high plank. And then from here, you can step one foot out, other foot out, other foot in and in, out, out, in, in. Round the upper back. If you want more, jump out, jump in, out, and in. You can go a little bit fast with this one, or you can keep a steady pace. If it's getting too much, just step. It's really your choice. Yes, slight bend of the elbows is okay. And change. Whew. Catch your breath. Next round, next round, coming for your bird dog, getting yourself on 
onto your table top to begin with, belly sinking in, of course. You're going to reach right arm forward, left foot, reach us back, and then elbow to chest. Let's go. Extend out, round the back, elbows together, elbow knee together, out, and in. Don't lift all the way up. You're just extending forward and back. Yeah, try to keep your left shoulder above the left wrist as much as possible. That way you're just stacking bones. It's going to be easier to hold and maintain your form. Good. Don't lift the back leg up. I know you want to, but you're just extending back. Change. We're going to switch sides. Left arm, right leg, going back. Getting ready for it. Breathe, everybody. And let's go. Out, come in. Stretch out, round in. So I really need you to round the back as much as you can. Slower the better. If you're rushing too much, you're going to feel wobbly. So be steady with this. And just extend forward and back. Enjoying a bit of a good stretch here as well. Why not? Keep going. One more. And change. Coming now to your, to your forearm side plank. Oh <laughs> right forearm comes down. Make sure that your right shoulder is above the right elbow. Press the palm down as well. Lift the right leg, right hip up. Right foot stays down, of course. And then step the left foot in front of the right foot. If you want, you can step your left foot in front of the right knee. If you want more, lift your left leg up. Left hip has to roll slightly forward, okay? Don't fall back. Roll the hip forward. Just staying still. That's all we're gonna do. Take your leg options as needed. You can change your mind, especially as we're coming to close. And change. Okay. Switching to the left arm. You can just turn around, but I don't wanna turn my back on you. Okay, left forearm down, get ready for it, and let's go, lift up, same options, round yourself down first, left shoulder, left elbow, and then it really helps to look up at your right hand or up to the ceiling, right hip rolls forward everybody, don't fall back, don't fall back, let's go, you can step your right foot in front of the left knee if you need the help, we work on gaining the strength here. Just look up. This is the last one for this round, this set, and change. All right. Whew. Pause the video. Go back to the start of this set and do one more round. If you're feeling really good, do three rounds, and that's really going to break up a lot of sweat. Okay, when you come back to this point, have a drink of water, and then we're going to continue on to our set of four. Give us a moment and then we are going to start. Here's everybody. four sets. I will do the first one with you and then just rewind back towards this point of the video. Do three more rounds. Make sure again you pace yourself. If you really need to, shout it out. It really helps. Okay. So just four movements for this one. We're going to go with your sumo squats, bringing your feet as wide as your mat. Point your toes out and then you're going to sink your hips back and down coming to sit on an imaginary chair. Knees are not going beyond your toes. Please make sure you're not just arching your back here. Keep your back flat, belly in, and you'll just want to bring your hips as low as your knees or maybe an inch below the knees, not lower than that. Come up, and then come down. Okay, so in your single squats, if you want more, maybe come down for three, and then come up for one, come down for three, come up for one, okay? Squeeze your glutes as you come down. Squeeze your glutes to lift yourself up as well. Round number two, you are going to come down. Still in your sumo squat and then pulse. 
when you're pulsing, try to squeeze more from the glutes to get that tiny, tiny pulse. It doesn't have to be a big movement. Try not to bounce from the hips or the knees or the thighs. Work on using your glutes instead. That's your second round. Third round, coming down to your tricep, push up. So we're gonna bring your hands down, shoulder width apart, index fingers pointing forward, spread the fingers really wide apart, and then extend the legs back. Start with your high plank, round the upper back, belly in, legs active, and then lower down all the way, come back up. Clipping your elbows to your body, elbows pointing back. If you need to modify, knees down, you can also have your knees, sorry, your shins interlaced. If you need to modify even further, hips down, just lifting your belly and chest up, point your toes to keep your legs active. Shoulders down away from your ears, chest is open. This is already a lot of work, so don't worry if you need to take this option. Last one, inchworm. Come into the backs of your mats, come down to squat, crawl forward, and then just crawl back. Come squat, up, squat, crawl forward. If you want more, add the push-up, or just skip the push-up and then come back, come up. All right, and then from there, go back to your sumo squats. We'll do another round of that, okay? 30 seconds of work, gonna show you a timer also, just so it's more fun that way, so you know how much time you have left. Get ready, sumo squats. Let's go. Come down, come up. Maybe coming down for three, or you can just go down for one if you'd like. Have adding that squeeze onto the glutes. When you come down, squeeze to go up. Let's go. Belly in, chest open, shoulders away from the ears. And change. Good job. Next, we're gonna come down and then we're gonna pulse. Just keeping it low. Getting ready, almost there. Shake it up if you need to. And let's go. Come down and then squeeze from the glutes. Belly in, lower back is flat. If you have a mirror in your room right now, check your form. Just make sure that you're not just sticking your butt out. So it's not all about that. You want to make sure that the weight goes back to your heels. That way, it's less um, chance of leaning forward. So keep your chest open, chest pointing forward. A few more pulses here. And change. Coming down, tricep push-ups. You can shake your legs off. Getting ready. Choose your options, knees up, knees down. Hips up, hips down. Hands are shoulder width apart. Index fingers pointing forward. And let's go. Come on down. And up. Doesn't have to be fast. The slower you can go, the better. Squeeze the belly in. If your hips are up, please make sure that your chest, belly, and your glutes all move at the same time. Don't just leave your butt hanging in the air. Inhale and exhale as you go. Keep going. Almost there. One more. And change. Go onto the backs of your mats. Inchworm, option to add a push up or not. It's really your choice. Getting ready. Two, one, let's go. Come on down. Crawl forward, flat, or push up. Crawl back, come up. Doesn't have to be fast. And we're not gonna hold this because we are gonna go back to your sumo squats after this. Almost there, keep going. Just a few more. We've been working on your squats. Arms are strong from your push up. And change. Pause the video, go all the way to the start of the set. Start with your sumo squats, then pulses, then push ups, and then inchworm. See you back here. And then once you reach this point, again, after your fourth round, have a sip of water. And we're gonna go for your very last set. Cardio to close it off. Have 
got your breath yet? Yeah? Okay. Last set. And then you cool it down. For your last set, wide-legged half burpees, keeping it simple, not adding anything else for today. Okay? Wide-legged half burpees, bring your feet as wide as your mat, point your toes out. And then, since we've been doing it already earlier, reach up, start with a squat, palms down. You can jump back, elbows slightly bent, jump forward into your squat, and then reach up, down, jump, squat, and up. Squat, jump, squat, and up. If you need to modify, reach up, come to a squat, palms down, step, 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 squat, and then come up. And then maybe do the other leg, just so both sides have the same effort. And then you can do it faster. You can change your options to jump or step even during the round. All right, just four. Ready? I'll do all of this with you. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Let's go. Squat, jump or step, and up. Find your rhythm first. You have three rounds. So go really crazy on it. Keep going, keep going. You know you've got this. I got you, you got me. Keep going, give me about four more. Or three. Or two. Last one. Woo! Catch your breath, walk it off. Try not to sit. Shout it out if you need to. Next round. Add a sound whenever you come up. Let's go. Step or jump. Ha! 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 Keep going, keep going. Almost there. Last than 10 seconds to go. And one more. Change. Halfway there. Halfway there. Just one more minute of work. One more minute of work. Shake it off. Catch your breath. Get ready. Let's go. Keep going, keep going. Halfway there for this round. Woo! Best to do this with somebody. <laughs> One more. Yeah, change. Last round, last round, last round. Get ready. That's it, last round, and let's go. You can step, you can jump, you can go faster. Make sure you're slightly bending your elbows when you come to your plank. Keep going, keep going. Start with a squat, end with a squat. Don't just hinge your hips. One more. And you're done. Woo. Good job, everybody. Come to sit on your mats. If you want to come for a child's pose, go ahead. Scatching your breath. Start to inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Through the nose. Slowly getting your heart rate back. And start to lie down on one side. I'll start with my left. Coming to clamshells. Active recovery. So lie on to your side. And then bend your knees. Knees in line with your hip. And then lift the feet up. Hinging from your heels. You're going to take a breath in. And up. Take a breath in, knees out. And breathe out, knees.
knees together. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Try to get your knees as high up as possible, squeezing the outer glutes on the right side. Belly is still sinking in. Core is still active. Just about 20 of these. You have about 12 more to go. Good. So take this time to start breathing in and out through the nose. Getting yourself back to normal. At least your heart rate. And starting to slow your body down again. Just about four more. Three. Two. And one. Extend your right leg. Point your toes, and you're going to be circling from the hip joint. Small circles. Imagine your big toe has a pen or a paintbrush attached to it. Make the smallest, smallest circle as much as possible, and then reverse directions. Doesn't have to be a big circle. Doesn't have to be a big movement. Three, two, and one. Release the right leg. Tap your right glutes, and then switch over. Just turn around, go for the other side. Whatever side you work on, just go and reverse. Bending your knees again. Knees in line with your hip. Lift your feet up, hinge from the heel. Then we start open and close, going up, going down. Make sure your feet are lifted up. You're still breathing in and out through the nose. And just go slowly with each movement. You're also working on the inner side of your thighs here, not just the outer glute. Good. And about 10 more here. Still breathing in and out. And we take this time also just to get your heart rate to come down a little bit before you go for your complete cool down. But five more. And three, two, and one. And straighten your left leg, point your toes. Again, drawing a very, very small circle with your big toe, getting the movement going from your hip joint. Doesn't have to be a big circle, the smaller the better. And you reverse. So keeping your belly in, core is still active. Otherwise, your lower back will do a lot of the work. So let's get everything balanced and change. Maybe tap your left glute and then come down onto your mats. Hug your knees in and just get yourself to do any stretch that makes you feel like you had the best workout today. You can just stay here in cradle. You can come to your happy baby, you can stretch your legs out, you can come to twists, you can even do plow pose if you want to, or do a shoulder stand, whatever you need to do. And when you are ready, just release everything down onto the mat, coming into your Shavasana. And give yourselves at least two minutes here, just being grateful for your body, being grateful to be able to move, and having the time to do this. When you're ready to hum up, just make your way up slowly, making sure that you'll have lots of water and a healthy meal after. Thank you for joining me for your practice today. I hope to see you back in the studio or maybe here again in Rebel Yoga TV. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.